Holy Father, today we have gathered here to carve out a moment within this sacred time that you've set aside, the Sabbath day. And we're here because you began something years ago. We could even say before time began, you knew that we would be coming to this moment. You also knew that uh, you had a, a man here that had a lot of choices to make and maybe even a few uh, turnarounds and uh, U-turns before he got here. But by your grace, we are gathered here in this moment to acknowledge what we have seen you do. We have seen you fill this man with your spirit. Amen. We have seen you use him to touch other lives. And we know, Lord, we know that it is not because of any credit to himself. It is because you have touched him. And you have taken the coal from the altar and you have cleansed him. You have said you are now made whole and clean and I want you to go for me. And James has stepped up and said, all right, point me in the right direction and tell me what you want me to do. Hallelujah. So here we are as fellow laborers in Christ, together around James and his wife, who is a full partner in this ministry, who has been serving with him at his side every moment, who is a, a, a confidant and a comfort, uh, and probably at times a challenge, uh, as <laughs> she has been gifted with the ability to speak into his heart in ways nobody else can. Amen. We know you've used her to speak truth into his life. And so we're all gathered by his side, laying hands on him as you've commanded us to do, in acknowledgement that he has been set aside for this purpose. Father, strengthen him to this task, for he has only the ability to say yes, and that's what he brings to the table. Amen. You will equip him with every good thing as is needed. Um, Lord, in not in selfishness, but in your righteousness, we we ask that you will use him to do great things, not just small things, though he would be faithful in those and has been. But for your name's honor and glory, that you would use him to change countless lives, that there may be a great train of witnesses in the heavenly kingdom that would stand behind him and say, He's the reason I know about you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Use him for that purpose, Father. Yes, Lord. You have blessed him. You have called him. And now we recognize as his community, as his fellow laborers for you, that you have placed in his life this commission. And we ask that you will empower him to rise to every level that you expect of him through your grace. In the name of our Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, and of the beautiful Spirit that inhabits and dwells within us and empowers us, we pray this blessing on James and joy. Amen. 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 Amen.